Hey guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. We are out. We are in the computer room at the Wynn Job Center, and I am here with uh, with Miss Lori Alice. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, so we came out actually today to film. Uh, we we came out to spotlight the the weld the virtual welding program at Colin. Yes. And so we did that, and that was really cool. And so make sure you go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but, but while we were doing that, you started telling me about some, uh, you gave me a tour of the building mm -hmm. and was, you were telling me about all of these awesome things that you guys do here. So I said, we, we have to spotlight the, the wind job center in general too, while we're here, because there are some amazing things happening here mm -hmm. that I really think is beneficial to the public. Right. That a lot of people don't realize, um, where we are, we're just down the road from Colin and actually the Natchez wind job center is is run by Colin. We also have the Mississippi Department of Employment Security in the building as well. And we are considered a, what, in you know, layman's terms, a one-stop shop. Uh -huh. So you can come here, you can hop on our computers, you can look for work, you can get career counseling, we can do mock interviews, we can do your resume. But in addition to that, so, so we have partnerships with all the business most of the businesses in town, not all. Mm -hmm. um, anything from if you're looking for a job, to be a truck driver, to looking for a job, to be a nurse or a teacher or whatever. We, we have job listings. Um, we also have opportunities for people. We have what we call individual training accounts. That is money that is provided by the state that will pay for your education to be a nurse, to be a truck driver, to be a welder, to work in HVAC, any, any of those things. We have funding to help people realize their dreams. Now, there are certain parameters to the funding, like you can't have an existing degree. Um, but we also have internship opportunities with local businesses, and we also offer on-the-job training. And those two particular programs are either paid for by the state or half of the payroll, training payroll, is paid for by the state. So we have a lot of different things going on here. The building is available um, to the public for businesses. We have businesses that come do trainings, um, We've had EMTs here. We've had security guard training here. Um, so, and the we offer that at no charge to yeah. the company. And it's a really nice room too. We have yeah. lots. Yeah, you know, we have a nice conference room. We mm -hmm. certainly have a computer lab here. We have a bank of computers out front. So, there's a lot, a lot we have to offer. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really interesting. So, what what do people have to do to to be? Um, I guess the word is maybe eligible for for the services here. <clears throat> Uh, resume writing, mock interviews, and things like that. Those those opportunities are at no charge to anybody. Anybody can come in. I do like to tell people that if they want a one on one with one of our one of our support staff here to make an appointment, so that we can set aside time just for you. And I'll give you an example. Okay. We had a young lady, great resume, um, a great educational background, and she, every interview she went on, she never got hired, and we couldn't figure it out. I mean, smart person. So we did a mock interview, and when I do them, I, I video them. And what we found is every time I asked her a question, I was the interviewer, she would look at the ceiling and click her pen. And so she was not engaging yeah. with the employer, <laughs> and so she wasn't getting the job. And so when, when you see your little ticks and you realize um, the, the areas that you need to bone up on to, to be a good interviewer, you're going to get the job. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, so, so you guys do, you got a, you got a computer mm -hmm. bank to where people mm -hmm. can come mm -hmm. get on the computers mm -hmm. and look for jobs. Correct. You've got the, uh, resume building, Yes. which is really great. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, uh, that, uh, it, I mean, even to this day, if I were to do a resume, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm doing, yeah. but I'm like, I don't know. I want some other eyes. Well, they need to be know. a little modernized. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. I, and I want other people to look at it mm -hmm. and say, what am I missing here? Am I meat, leaving any meat on the bone right. or mm -hmm. yeah, anything like that? Um, so you've got the resume writing, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And, you've, and, and then what you were just talking about, the interview. Yeah, I can do skills. mock interviews, and then I have uh, just straight-up interview training. Okay. I have a PowerPoint presentation that, that I can show people to help them, and then we'll do the mock interview afterwards. And and then you have the uh, you you have the the boardroom that mm -hmm. companies can come in mm -hmm. and have meetings. Correct. And you've got the computer hooked up in there with mm -hmm. everything with, yep. that they can run their slides on and mm -hmm. everything in there. Um, 
so what else what else are we missing here there's a lot going on and <laughs> well, then your and then job wins job center is also partnered with colin is that yeah we cool? are operated Correct. by colin I, i'm by colin. i'm okay. a colin employee okay mm -hmm. okay so what else are we missing out here? That's Nothing. We have it all. Yeah. People, we just we need foot traffic. Okay. That's what we're missing. Okay. People <clears throat> people don't realize we're here. They don't realize what we offer. And um, when I when I've been here about five years now, and um, before I became the director, I worked the front desk, and we we had crazy foot traffic pre COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, we would have seventy five to 100, 125 people a day. Wow. Um, when COVID hit, we, we segued over to helping the unemployment office because there were so many claims. Um, yeah. But when COVID came, it came, we got that moniker again. Mm -hmm. And so I just need people to realize that we are the employment office. Okay. And uh, so how can people look you up online? Um, Natchez Wind Job Center. Natchez Wind mm -hmm. Job Center. And, and they can look up the job listings at um, MDES. Dot ms dot gov, okay. Mississippi Department of Employment Security dot Mississippi dot gov. Okay, and what's the phone number out here? 601-442-0243. Okay, well, awesome. I, uh, is there anything else that you want to add before we get out of here? Uh, not that I can think of. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that this is really cool, and I'm, I'm glad that we got to sit down and share this. Let me ask one, one more quick sure. question. Uh, so, so any age, if you're if you're 50 years old and, and you need some help, you can you can come out. It's not just for students, correct? No, no, no. Okay. Actually, and with regard to job placement, we don't um, place anybody under age 18. Okay. Because it's the college, and we want you to finish your mm -hmm. high school degree. Yes. And so from 18 on, and okay. the news trend actually, with prices being so high, um, people are starting people that had retired are coming back to the workforce okay and that's where we're a real benefit to them because they haven't worked in a long time they haven't mm -hmm. interviewed in a long time they haven't job searched in a long time so we're we're there for anybody okay so good well i'm glad we got that last question in yeah. because um i think that that will help people out there that think maybe it's just for no 18 year olds or whatever so no, okay it's for any skill skill okay. level well um well, I hope you guys learned something. I, when I came in, I, I didn't know all of this when I walked in today. I knew that they were doing awesome work out here, but I didn't know how many different things that were available to the public for free. And I think it's important. You know, um, it's it's a barrier sometimes, and, and you guys are removing barriers Correct. to employment. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're out there and you're watching this, you know, reach out. Let's let's get our let's get our unemployment numbers down. Let's get people to work. Exactly. And uh, let, we, we let have lots of job them. listings right okay. now. Good. Well, <laughs> um, so we want to we want to thank all of our awesome partners, including uh, Colin, thank to you. for making these sit downs possible and letting us do what we do in the community. I want to thank everybody for watching this. God bless everybody out there. And as always, have a champion day. Ronnie, come on, man. Hey, man, come on. What you thinking about over there? We got work to do. How cool would it be to do a champion sports talk? It seems like a lot of fun. But who would I do it with? I mean, it would have to be somebody as good looking as me on camera and knows about sports. I mean, who would that be? Hey, guys. Anybody here? Hey guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. I want to tell you about our awesome partners, J.E. Hicks Distributing Company, also known as Hicks Chicks. 
Hicks Chicks is a local, family-owned food distribution company that has been serving the Miss Lou since 1945. You already know they serve all of your favorite restaurants, but did you know they are also open to the public? Hicks has a variety of food products, including delicious heat and eat options, like chicken and dumplings, white bean chicken chili, lasagna, and gumbo. They also carry a wide variety of seafood options like shrimp, crabs, tuna steaks, salmon, and catfish. And don't forget about their famous TNT burgers that are already patted up for you and their amazing dessert options. So go see the awesome team at Hicks Chicks at 1380 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Natchez. Hicks Chicks, way more than just chicken. Welcome to your new hospital, Trinity Medical. Located in Faraday, Trinity Medical is the only acute care facility in the Tri-Parish area. Here you will find an active pursuit of holistic health, a strong, honest group of clinicians, and a consciousness of others that transcends the 80,000 square feet committed to you and your loved ones. Trinity Medical, people you know, caring for people you love. Hey guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. We're out at our awesome partners, Greg Veterinarian Clinic, and we are in the back in the Barkley Pet Hotel and Spa. I'm standing in the Magnolia Bell Suite, which is one of five elite boarding suites available to your four-legged furry friends when you travel this summer. Each suite comes with a private bed, flat screen TV, 24 seven video monitoring, and a sliding door so your pet feels like they're home. They provide one-on-one -on -one walking and activities in a fenced-in private backyard. So call Greg Vet Hospital today and request your pet suite at the Barkley Pet Hotel and Spa. They'll leave the light on for you. Call Greg Veterinary Hospital today. If you like what we're doing here at Miss Lou Champion Spotlight, make sure to like, follow, share on Facebook and Instagram and visit our website, MissLouChampions.com. It costs you nothing and it helps us to continue to shine the spotlight on awesome people right here in our community.